baseball, so we're going to talk some baseball uh, today on the program. So let's uh, let's jump into it here. Julian Edelman, you got to yep. start there. Yep. Julian Edelman retires from the NFL. Everybody immediately wants to jump into this conversation because every Patriots fan is fucking drunk. Oh, yeah, and they all think <laughs> Julian Edelman, he's a Hall of Famer. Now this is the can this is, I'm giving them the same kind of shit that Jeremy gives me over Greg Olson. Okay. I just hope nobody who's laughing at me about Greg Olson. Is giving is you saying shit. that yeah. Julian Edelman is a definite Hall of Famer. Absolutely. Listen, uh, Julian Edelman's career is something that I don't think anybody would have saw coming. Listen, he was a rushing quarterback from Kent State. Um, he, you know, he broke Josh Cribbs' records for rushing and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which I think might have helped him out with getting a shot at the NFL. But here's the thing. Uh, I guess, you know, he was going to be going to the CFL. Um, he had opportunities there, but... Bill kind of saw that there was an opportunity maybe to become wide receiver mm -hmm. and a punt returner. Um, and what he did was he busted his butt every single day. Mm -hmm. He drove from Akron to Cleveland every day to learn the position. Um, ended up being drafted in the seventh round of the NFL draft. Um, and he paid his dues for you know five years in the New England system. And when Wes Walker left, um, he kind of took that slot role and kind of pulled in there. Mm -hmm. And listen, he had an incredible career. I mean, I, I, it, I don't believe it's Hall of Fame worthy. No. Um, I mean, it's a Hall of Fame story. Yeah. No doubt it's a Hall of Fame story. Yeah. A guy for you know who's a quarterback at Kent State and yep. then gets into the NFL. And at one point, I think in the, uh, what, it was the first Super Bowl that he played in, uh -huh. he played in every, he played special teams, he right. played defense at slot corner, he played on the offense as well, catching yeah. passes. So, I get it. It's a great story, and we like it. And you know, he's a you know he's a um, he's a little larger than life kind yeah. of character guy. You know, he's he's got the charisma. People like him. He's got a smoking hot girlfriend or <laughs> yeah. wife. I don't, I don't know if they're married. I've seen pictures. What? Jeremy's it, it every matter. time Edelman's name comes up, Jeremy goes, "Hey, he's you know he's magic." Yeah, yeah. I mean, so. Ju yeah, Julian Edelman's done a lot. I think the whole northeast of this country pretty much you know thinks of him as a god. You know, he's, of course. he's, he's going to be a Patriots um, lifer, I think. You know, it's funny. I have this, like, small, afraid feeling that he's retiring and somehow, some way, you know, he'll find his way to Tampa Bay with the rest <laughs> of the West of the Patriots uh, family going down there and winning another nah. Super Bowl with Tommy. But I, I, don't, I don't see that one coming. It's just, it was funny to think. Listen, this guy played... He's only he's second behind Jerry Rice in receptions in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. um, you know he won a Super Bowl MVP. Mm -hmm. We were looking at some player comps earlier today. <laughs> um, <laughs> as far as Hall it's, of Famers go, it's it's fun. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a fun, fun to little see exercise. That, uh, so on ProFootballReference.com, uh, uh -huh. uh, Julian Edelman and his uh, player comps. There's only one Hall of Famer that right. is compared to him, you know, statistics-wise for his entire career. And it's Lynn Swan. Right. And I have heard that mentioned a couple of times in these conversations that we've been having over the last, what, 12 hours yeah. of, is Julian Edelman a Hall of Famer? Well, you know, Lynn, Lynn Swan didn't really have the stats, but he had, you know, amazing plays and what, whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't care. Right. I can't... I can't get on board with putting a guy into the Hall of Fame that only has like you know 36 touchdowns as a as a wide receiver, right. a guy who's supposed to have a lot of opportunities <laughs> to get into the end zone. You know, because you've got you could throw out stats for oh I want to say thousands of wide receivers who have way better stats than Julian Edelman. Absolutely, were all of their catches uh, memorable as memorable as Julian Edelman's? Absolutely not. Um, because I will never forget the catch in the Super Bowl against the oh, Atlanta Falcons. Unbelievable. Yeah, right. Like that was the thing that sparked the turnaround. Right. It was so and and kept it going and they ended up winning the turn you know, winning the title. Yeah, that catch and David Tyree's catch, you know, obviously coming from a Giants fan, are oh. pretty memorable. <laughs> you know, th they were like, How did that even happen? Right. Um, but you know, when it comes down to it, Julian Edelman should not even have been where he was. And I think when you say something about his career, that's what you need to mention. I don't mm -hmm. think we need to go Hall of Fame. I just think we need to mention that he was 
someone who shouldn't have even have been there, right. and he worked his butt off, and he's a true story to everybody. Hey, listen, if you want to get your dreams, you can achieve them if you really try hard enough. You know right. what I mean? And right. that's that's awesome. Well, he's a team. You know, he's he's a team great. Yeah, he's a Ring of Honor guy. Absolutely, he's, he's not a Hall of Famer. Mm -mm. He doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion. No, if we had a postseason Hall of Fame, yeah. sure. <laughs> Why yeah. not? Let's let's have a postseason Hall right. of Fame and throw him in it. No, that, that doesn't exist. Uh, you know, he will he'll have his picture in the Hall of Fame. They'll have the little, you know, the the great memories and all that kind of stuff. They right. probably got a pair of his gloves sitting next to the ball that he made that the he catch caught, with yeah. or whatever. But, you know, having your own bust in Canton, you, you have to have the numbers. Right. The, the numbers have to be there. Yeah. And you look at all-time wide receivers, and Julian Edelman is just not even in the conversation no, no. of the greatest wide receivers of all time. Um, you know, his postseason stats, how much do you weigh those? How much do you value postseason to regular season? What, are those stats in the postseason worth double? Okay. Yeah. It it's hard to, it, that's what the one thing that people try to talk about a lot when it comes to, especially Julian Edelman, or, you know, a lot of these Patriots or, you know, people who get, their stat lines are going to be heavier because they played in a lot more games. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I, you got to do something more in the regular season. He basically only played about seven seasons and most of those, some of those were injured. I mean, his knee injuries are well documented. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one thing that I do want to say about Julian Edelman that he did, he did a lot for the Jewish community mm -hmm. um, for sports. He brought a lot of light to the situation, um, especially during these times where, you know, some things were, were being said about, oh, yeah. you know, in that way, he's brought a lot of light to it. So another thing that he's done well, again, Julian Edelman's a great, great human being. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, again, we just need to start thinking about those kind of things as opposed to the Hall of Fame thing, except for, you know, everybody oh, yeah. in the Northeast of the United States is going to say, oh, Hall of Famer, first pilot, no oh, doubt, yeah. no doubt. Oh, yeah. But I mean, if there's an all-time great guy Hall of Famer, yeah. sure. Oh, let's, shucks, Julian Allen needs to be Julian right there. Edelman I tell you there. what, that boy, he was real good. I, he, he's, he's a nice fella. Right, yep. right. Yep. And I can understand, you know, being a voice for the Jewish community yeah. and all of that. It's, it's great. It's all yes. great guy stuff. Yes. You know, and, and this is part of the argument that I have with people about Greg Olson. Yeah. I know that's great guy stuff, but, mm -hmm. I mean, he also has some stats to back it up as well. I mean, the guy's like top ten and, you know, among tight ends all time. So Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, there's that. Uh, is there a – should there be a slot receiver category in the NFL – a pro football Hall of Fame? Should we start treating that differently? I, I mean, are we going to go down this path with every position? If so, uh, uh, Mike Allstott. Yeah. Mike Allstott needs to be in the fucking Hall of Fame. If Julian Edelman's going to be in the Hall of Fame, we need to put Mike Allstott in the fullback Hall of Fame. Well, I think Mike Allstott should be in the Hall of Fame anyways. That's I just my personal well. opinion. It's and I know that's probably makes you uh, all happy in a dance <laughs> region when it, it talks about your team there. It does. It does because I have this thought over and yeah. over and over again. And, I, and I'm typically on this show with someone who would laugh in my face yes. for saying that. And I get it, if he was watching on the golf course right now, he'd be laughing his ass off. He probably is. Uh, <laughs> if, if he, he's going to jump in the comments and tell us how stupid we are here pretty soon. <laughs> right. It's going to be really funny. But no, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think Greg Olson is, we talked, we, mm -hmm. we've been on this conversation before. Right. Greg Olson is top 10 in career stats as far as a tight end goes. Julian Edelman is, is not even not sniffing, even not even sniffing top 10. Is he top 20? I, I, you know, honestly, I don't even know. I don't no. have the stats in front of me. No, he's but, not. I've got, so the, uh, the, the pro football reference does a little yeah. uh, Hall of Fame monitor, mm -hmm. and they have the Hall of Fame score. The number one wide receiver all time mm -hmm. is Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. His Hall of Fame score <laughs> is 311.81. Okay. Okay. Number two. Uh-huh. Who's number two? Oh, that's a good one. I'd say Randy Moss. Yep. Randy yep. Moss. Yep. You want to know what his score is? 289. Nope. Nope. 149.59. Oh, wow. That's a, that's the difference in this Whoa. score between Jerry Rice yeah, and Randy Moss. A little Moss. bit of a difference there. A little, little bit, of, bit a of a difference. Yeah. Um, would you like to know what Julian Edelman's score is? Oh, God. Is it negative 12? No. No, he's got a, he's, you know, he's got a positive score. He's a positive score. Tell it's me what it is. 36.18. 36.18. He's down there with... Um, Plaxico Burris. Oh, Plax. 
Des Bryant, uh huh, Michael Thomas, uh huh, mm, who's not even done playing yet? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. there's Amani Toomer. Oh, hey, there you go. They, you just throwing out two <laughs> giants, man. I'm, I'm like, like, listen, Plax, you know, he got the touchdown in the Super Bowl, right? So, you know, maybe there's a comparison to that. You one. go just above him. It's Joe Horn, Santana Moss, and Greg Jennings. Ugh. Even if those guys had great plays in the playoffs, Ugh. I would never, <laughs> ever, ever have a discussion with anyone about them even sniffing a gold jacket. Not even thinking about it. Not, not even, not even, never thought. Never close. Never close. Never close to the hall. <laughs> Julian Elmo was a great dude. Right. He's a great player. He's going to continue to be involved in the game, I'm sure. Yeah. I feel bad for him for, you know, I mean, he's 35 years old. It's right. time. Yeah. It's time. And he said he would uh, he would play until the wheels fall off. And mm-hmm. in his statement yesterday, he said they have fallen off. Yeah. I just can't do it anymore. Right. You know, they failed. He failed a physical with the Patriots. Is I don't believe it's a lie. Like some have thrown right. this up. Oh, he just wants to leave New England to go play with Tom. No, it's not really. That's not really how this works. No, that's think. not how it works. I mean, I guess. Don't you need to I, be retired for at least a year or something right, from I, that team before right. you can join another team? I think that's. I believe so. There's some that's sort kinda, of law. Yeah. You can't just say, "Oh, I retire because I don't want to play here anymore." <laughs> right. This would be starting a new trend that would not be very well for the new uh, for the north. Uh, oh, sorry, for the National Football League. There you go. Yeah, that was what I was trying to say. Okay, all right. <laughs> we went down a path there, but uh, I think we got the we got the gist of it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, enjoy your day. Uh, you know, you're getting plenty of pub. Yep. But fans of the New England Patriots need to stop with this yep. this bullshit because that's how it all started was yep. the first Patriots fans were like, oh, he's all just a Hall of Famer. And everybody else since then has been trying to go, y'all are crazy. Yeah. Stop that. I mean, you think about the wide receivers that are not in the Hall of Fame right now. Uh, Tory Holt yeah. comes to mind. Number one jumps off the list. And if you're talking about Julian Edelman getting in and Torrey Holt's not in, yeah. you're you're doing this wrong. Uh, Reggie right. Wayne, Torrey Holt, um, who else are we waiting on? Uh, Andre Johnson, mm-hmm. Anquan Bolden. I've had that conversation with a lot of people about Anquan Bolden, whether or not he should be a Hall of Famer. These are guys that we should should be having the conversation about. Right? It's not Julian Edelman. No, not yeah. even close. Heinz Ward is another yeah. one. Uh, you won't say he had playoff success. Uh, uh, uh. I think that, yeah. I mean, it, these guys, everybody you just named is a Hall of Famer above Julian Edelman. Absolutely. And a couple of those are aren't even are probably not even Hall of Famers. No. So that's what, that, that's so what that's I'm where saying. We're going. Like, I like having the conversation with people yeah. about Heinz Ward. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not dyed in the wool. Stats guy, but no. I mean, he put up pretty good stats. He did. He did. He was a ferocious wide receiver. Yeah. Now, granted, I'm a little biased because he, he was a Georgia, Georgia Bulldog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but just the way others talked about him, uh, you know, and I yeah. get it, it. A lot of it was negative. It was, you know, oh, he's a dirty player and oh, all this God. kind of stuff. He played, he just played with such physicality that it surprised people. And he was so happy about it. That's why he had the smile on his face. He was oh, notorious. Yeah. He was notorious for laying a big hit on a, you know, on a cornerback and then just smiling about it when he gets up. Dirty? Yeah. Heinz Ward is probably Tough the nose. best blocking wide receiver that we've had in this league. Mm-hmm. You know, he he chose that um, with a smile. Oh, there course. should be a separate category for yep. that. We got to have blocking category, wide best receivers. blocking wide receiver. Blocking wide yep. receivers. Blocking wide receivers. Slot wide slot receivers. receivers. Yep. One hundred percent. If we're not having this conversation about Wes Welker, yeah, then I'm out. Yeah, gone, done, over with. Because to me, Wes Welker is better than Julian Edelman. Yeah, career stats prove it. That's yeah, just my opinion. You know, had, and the fact that you know he started over yeah. Julian Edelman for five years. Five years. Five years. <laughs> Wasn't like Julian Edelman was knocking on his door there. No, not yeah. at all. It's the recency bias yeah. that we all get caught up in. Yeah. Of the latest is the greatest. Kind of thing. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, this guy's retired. He's definitely a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You keep thinking that. Yes. Uh, and, I, and I get. Again, Listen, you know, I have to go back to the Greg Olson thing because yeah. everybody. Always got to say something. Listen, <laughs> you know what? Hats, hats off. Jeremy hats just... off to Julian Edelman. Great career. That's right. No, no Hall of Fame. No, no Hall, of Hall of Fame at all. No talk. 
Jeremy says he's digging this whole Jeremy's on the golf course on a Tuesday thing. Good for him. Uh, good for you, Good Brian. for him, man. Good for you. I, um, you know? I'll, I'll, I'll comment the same thing when I'm planting plants on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> he can be planting tulips. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs>